why switching from Apple is hard. That video's coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Switching from Apple is hard and here are some of the reasons I have discovered while using these devices. The first one, and I wanna get this obvious one out of the way, is iMessage. Now, not just because, you know, iMessage has some good features, but one of the main reasons why it's harder to switch from iMessage is because so many people use this platform. Now, not for everyone in the world, if you got a family that doesn't use any iMessage, this is not gonna be a big deal. But at least in the States here, if you live in the US, um, it's more than likely you're gonna run into people or many people that are gonna use iMessage on their iPhone. And for that reason alone, I find that this makes it really hard. So this next reason, again, will depend on who's around you in your life, but I would say a valid reason would be many people around you use Apple. So a lot of times, if you use an Android and everyone around you is using Apple, you're kind of the odd one out there, and it's kind of pressure for certain individuals. Not for me, I don't really care, I just use Android as well. But for some people, this can be a real pressure to use Apple because there'd be like FaceTime. Some people don't even wanna you know, try other apps like Google Duo, for example. Uh, I have a family member who doesn't even wanna try the thing, even though it works well on both you know, cross-platform. But still, they're just like, nope, FaceTime or nothing. So like, there is true pressure for some people out there to use these Apple products. So that, that could be a reason why switching from Apple can be hard. The next reason is Apple has the best tablets on the market. The iPad has consistently been the market leader and it continues to be so as Apple keeps pumping out more and more tablets and they're getting even better with iPad OS with the software. So going forward, I don't see this changing anytime soon. And for me, I actually personally think the iPad is the best tablet experience out there. I've tried a couple, I've got Kindle, I've had the Samsung Galaxy tablets, and right now I still think Apple is ahead in this tablet space. I don't think many would disagree. You can get Apple Pencil, works fantastic. The application support is there. Uh, it's got the nice aspect ratio that's really tablet-like on the iPad. So really, I think the tablet market, having an iPad is a real reason why you might wanna have things consistent with your iPad and your iPhone. So that could be a reason why it's hard to switch from Apple as well. The next reason why switching from Apple is hard is the accessories tie you in. So if you have the Apple Watch, for example, and you got AirPods, yes, AirPods do work with other platforms, but it's not as seamless as it is with the iPhone. So once you get these things and you go over to the other side, you might have to start repurchasing items just to have your ecosystem just as consistent it was on Apple, so a further investment. So some of these things do get you kind of hooked in the Apple ecosystem if you're not careful. And also if you've purchased services like the new Apple News application service, or you got Apple Music subscription, this one many of you probably have, or you have some type of Apple subscription, then you kind of are, you know, if you get used to it and you enjoy it, it's gonna be a little bit hard to convince somebody to go ahead and switch over because then they have to get a new service, they have to cancel their service, it just it goes on and on. So you see all these little type of things that Apple has implemented to make sure that you stay on their platform. The next reason is Apple keeps getting better, I feel like, at making the experience similar as they can across the platform. Now, iOS 13 proves this. These devices don't have iOS 13 on them just yet. They're pretty buggy, the iOS 13 betas. If you put iOS 13, everything's gonna have a 3D touch like this type of feature on there. It's not 3D touch, but a haptic press so you can kind of do these shortcuts. So again, they're gonna make it more consistent across the devices. Now, same thing with the iPad. This iPad has a home button. This is the iPad mini five right here. I click the mail app. If I go ahead and go like that, I could swipe away. Let me hit okay. I could swipe away just like I could on the iPad Pro. Now, Apple didn't have to implement that. They could just use the home button, but it makes it more similar to like the iPhone XR's gestures, as well as, you know, the iPad Pro's gestures with its swipe. So you can see how Apple's always trying to make everything really consistent and finding that level of similarity in the way the products work is kind of difficult to do. So I think that 
Apple really has a strength here and that makes it harder to switch because everything works almost identical across these products. The next reason why switching from Apple is hard is the App Store. Now the App Store not only gives you plenty of apps and really good apps and good polish on these applications, it also is more tightly regulated than the Play Store. So there's more security and Apple always talks about their privacy on here and I just feel more secure downloading applications from the App Store than I do on the Play Store. I feel like you're less likely to get a malware app on the App Store than you are on the Play Store. So that's a real strength for the Apple side and it, and it could be a reason why it's hard to switch from Apple is the applications and the App Store. The next reason why switching from Apple is extremely hard is the emojis. Every time I go back to a different platform, yes, they have emojis and yes, they're very functional, but Apple just seem always like better. Like there's just more of them, they're more polished and everything you kind of think of, there's probably an emoji for that on the iPhone series or the iPad or you know, the Apple Watch even has emojis, the MacBook Pro with touch bar has emojis. The emoji experience, if you use this a lot, I don't use it all the time, but when I do, I'm very pleased with the Apple experience here. So I think that switching from Apple can be hard if you care a lot about little items like emojis, for example. The next reason is the Apple Store experience is unbeatable. Now, I don't mean that there's not great stores out there that sell electronics, but what I mean is that there's not many Google Pixel stores out there or Samsung stores you can just walk into and just play with every product that that company has or just buy every product that you see online because you could pretty much do that with the Apple Store. Also, if you have an issue with your iPhone, this one is so easy to get fixed and just taking it into the store. So that's an unbeatable experience that still makes it hard to switch 100% from Apple. The customer service experience is just night and day different on the iPhone in a good way versus competitors when it comes to getting your phone service. Now I think Samsung and some others are trying to fix this. I hope it gets to a point where we could just walk into a Google Pixel store or a Samsung store someday. That would be nice. But for right now, completely getting rid of this Apple experience is kind of hard for that reason. Okay, so the next reason is some little things I'm gonna cover kind of quickly here. So battery levels. Now, when it comes to managing your batteries, when you have AirPod, Apple Watch, everything populates right here in this widget. On Android, a lot of times you gotta download a separate app. So that's a little bit more organized. I'd say the colors of the 10R are more vibrant than many other phones out there. Now this applies only to the 10R, but finding a color of your choice in phone is a really strong pull and why it's one of the most popular selling phones in the US, if not the most popular selling phone in the US. There's that's there's a big reason why. The next reason is Face ID is more reliable and smoother, also more secure than many other face unlock methods out there. Now, is it faster? Not always. Is it fast? Yes, but not faster always, but it is more secure and the one I would trust for biometric security through my face. The face ID is really a great feature and I think it's gotten better. I think more people get used, as more people have gotten used to it, it's definitely a feature that's a pool for the Apple ecosystem. A lot of people mention this in the comment. I find this kind of shallow, but at the same time, if you're the type of person who needs to show off, you probably ain't gonna do it any better than buying an iPhone. I mean, it's just associated with that. I mean, you see celebrities rocking iPhones all the time. So if you wanna show off, an iPhone's probably your best bet for showing off your phone. Not that anybody really cares, but if you think you think people really care about your phone and you, you really need to show off, and then maybe the iPhone Apple products can be for you. My next reason is the video quality on iPhone is extremely hard to beat. Now, I mean, 4K 60 on here just looks incredible. I mean, if there was a phone I wanted to pick for my video quality, it would probably be the iPhone every time. Also on Instagram, it seems to have some of the finest quality out there for Instagram video. So if you do a lot of Instagram, then you want an iPhone, you want an Apple product, they have really clean Instagram videos, as does the Pixel line, but still, these have some great video all around. Really hard to beat the video quality you get from the iPhone. It's super smooth, it's really sharp, and it's very clear. It's not the most detailed like a DSLR, but it's getting pretty close, and I think the iPhone has pretty great video quality. Really hard to beat this. Another reason could be very hard to switch from Apple if you're into video. Next up is case and accessory makers definitely favor Apple products. Why not? They sell millions of these products, of course the companies are gonna go for, what's gonna make them the most money, what's gonna put food on the table. So why not get you know an iPhone or an Apple product if you really care about accessorizing your phone or your product? 
you're more than likely going to be able to find some protection for it. I mean, you could find cases for iPhones in a gas station. That tells you something right there. Societal pressures also is another reason. Uh, I feel like society can pressure you to have an iPhone. You see it on TV, you see it on movies, and you feel like, oh, I got to have that thing. That doesn't mean that thing's going to work well for you. Not always, but most of the time the Apple products do work well. So uh, that societal pressure, I think, is a very real thing, especially for younger people out there. And one detail I noticed, the uh, Apple phones are typically more curve in the corner, like they're a little bit more curvy in the corner. So if you don't like really square phones and I'm not talking about the SE and the 5S or phones before like the iPhone 6, but lately for the past several years, iPhones have been more curvy in the hand. If you like that more than a squarish phone, you might really like the iPhone series. This could change going forward in 2019, 2020. We'll see what happens with the 11 and the next generation iPhone. But for now, most of these phones got a nice curve in the corner. So if you like that, that's something to keep in mind. In conclusion, switching from Apple is really hard, especially getting rid of something like an awesome Apple Watch, the great iPad experience. You could use Android and use an iPad. Of course, you could use, uh, you couldn't use the Apple Watch in an Android device though. So keep that in mind. So there's a lot of pools for the Apple ecosystem. I mean, these are some of the reasons why it's super hard to switch from it. If you guys have any reasons yourself why you think it's very hard, drop those down below. And if you want to see why it's hard to switch from Android to Apple, let me know. I will consider making that video as well. If you found this one entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more. If you're sticking with Apple, enjoy it. If you're not, let us know. I will catch you all in the next episode. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.